Santa Clarita's hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Prima Pediatrics Healthcare Hour on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. We're also streaming live at hometownstation.com. Talking uh, back to school stuff with Dr. Feldman. And uh, I, I, I was telling you during the break, I read, I was doing some research here because uh, I wanted to, you know, make this show good. And then you came in and you're like, I got a ton of stuff to talk about. So kind of went out the window. But one thing I did notice is I read about four articles on health and kids going back to school and stuff like that. And one of the things that every single one of them mentioned was sleep. Oh, indeed. Was sleep. And, and, and so why is that a concern going back to school? Well, it's a big concern. It's one of the biggest concerns, actually, uh, and, and one that is unfortunately not paid attention to by any school authorities. I mean, it's amazing what schools do to protect themselves and don't do to protect themselves, <laughs> and that is sleep. Uh, if you want your kid not to have flu or not to get sick much, they got to get enough sleep because if they don't, it knocks their immune system down. You need enough hours of sleep at night so that your immune system can rebuild itself. You don't get enough sleep, you don't get a decent immune system. Not a decent immune system, bang, you're sick. And so how many, uh, how, what's a good night of sleep that, for, and, well, and what's the age range here? Okay, what? if you've got a kid in elementary school, okay. <clears throat> minimum sleep is 10 hours. Whew. Okay, so. But that's not, that's that not. Out. It's not terrible. Yeah. You put your kid in bed and make sure they're in bed and getting to sleep by 8 o'clock at night. If they get up at 6, that's 10 hours. A lot of kids in elementary school will need closer to 12. Really? So, yeah. So mm. a lot of kids need to go to bed at 7.30 and get up at 7.30. But usually you can manage with 10 to 12, somewhere in that range, but not less than 10. Because less than 10 on, on school-age kids, little kids, they, they can't make it. In fact, the, quote, epidemic of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, yeah. probably at least 20% of it are kids who just don't get enough sleep. Just not getting enough sleep? They can't pay attention in they school? They can't they're pay tired attention and... in school. They're tired. They daydream. They're off. They Think about what happens with drivers on the right, road who are sleep-deprived. Yeah. Highest and the high, much higher number of accidents because they can't pay attention. Wow. So it same is true for kids. I didn't even see so this is something that uh, when I was reading the articles I didn't even think about that, that I, I mean you go to school you you go to bed and I didn't think that you needed that much sleep in order to Well you do. Focus I mean there stuff. are always of course exceptions to the rule but the rule is pretty much you need a minimum of 10 hours of sleep at night as a uh, a youngster up till age 11 or 12 till you start puberty. Now, let's talk about puberty. This is an even you. better one because, you know, when you hit puberty, the pineal gland, which is this little teeny tiny gland inside your brain, uh, changes. And what changes is the production of melatonin, which is that nice little substance that puts you to sleep. <laughs> and it changes your circadian rhythms, your, your biological clock, so that you can't go to sleep at 7, 30, 8 o'clock anymore. It's not like you don't want to. You can't. Oh. It pushes forward, and most teenagers, once they've gotten, gone through puberty, can't fall asleep before about 11 o'clock at night. And that is a major it's, issue, because what time do our teenagers have to get up to go to school? Between early. 6 and 7. Yeah, like school starts at 8, I think? Uh, about sometimes, 7, 7 or 30, 7.30. Yeah. And if your kid's on sports or anything else, oh, yeah, or they have to it. take the bus, or any of that kind of stuff. So the same holds true for somebody who is in high school, junior high age. Yes. They need 10 hours of sleep. They need usually at least 10 hours. I would say 8 to 10 for a teenager, but some teenagers actually need more than the younger kids, because especially when they're going through puberty. The junior high school Body's kids, doing a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> you want to grow? you got to sleep. Yeah. What do you think growth hormone is, is secreted at 4 a.m.? If you're not getting a long, long enough sleep period, you're not going to secrete enough growth hormone. It seems like... The, well, we, I don't want to really get into social issues here, but it seems almost impossible to get that much sleep if you're high school age and you're involved in sports and you're homework. Unfortunately, you're absolutely correct. And so most of our teenagers are functioning at half, at half lit. And it's interesting because in Minnesota, this was just... Uh, came out about a week and a half ago. Okay. They did a study in Minnesota. They decided because they had lost scores, mm -hmm. their teenage scores were going down and down, they m did an experiment with four schools, four high schools, where they, instead of starting at 7.30, which is when they all started, 
they started at 8.30 or 9. In fact, okay. most of them were starting at 9. So the kids didn't have to be up till 8. What happened was is that kids who started later, the scores doubled Holy cow. from what they were. In other words, they didn't just go back up the extra 10 points. They went up 20 points. They scored higher than all the other schools. Furthermore, the kids were better at sports, and they were more fit, and there was less illness. No kidding. Yep. That's unbelievable. So and sleep why is are <laughs> our high schools starting so early? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're just trying to pack everything into a day, and it's uh, apparently it's hurting. It's hurting our youth. The it's faster youth. you go, the slower you get. Yeah, no kidding. It's the tortoise and the hare thing, right? That's right. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So get your kids to sleep. So I mean, I mean, uh, any suggestions on? Uh, well, I'll tell you what I did with my daughter when she was in high school, and she was really mad at me. <laughs> Boy, initially, but then she said, "Okay, you were right," uh, and that is, is that. When she was a junior in high school, she was staying up till one in the morning, getting her try to get her homework done. Okay, and I and she was taking phone calls all the way out. I cut the phone off. I said no phone uh, after you know no phone during dinner, no phone. Uh, be, there's you can have be on the phone till five p.m. Not again until nine. From nine to ten, you can be on the phone, and then the phone goes away. It literally, I took it out of her room oh. every night. And I said. If you haven't finished your homework by 10, p 10 p.m., I'll write it out to the teacher and say you didn't finish it because I made you go to bed. Oh, Mom, how can you do that? I said, really? Watch me. Yeah. And guess what? She started sleeping yeah. more. She did tremendously well. The teachers didn't ding her. Wow. And she ended up doing much better, and she felt much more rested, and she finally came to me, and she says, you know, I hate to admit it, but you were right. All this talk about sleep is making me tired. Yeah, I know. Me yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break. Prima Pediatrics Healthcare Hour. We're going to talk more uh, kids going back to school. we got more stuff coming up next. Stay tuned. AM 1220 KHDS.